Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another action movie night. Tonight, I will be reviewing Death Wish, released in 1974. Death Wish stars Charles Bronson, Hope Lang, Vincent Gardinia, William Redfield, Stephen Keats, Stuart Margolin, Stephen Elliott, Jeff Goldblum. Death Wish was directed by Michael Winner. Screenplay was written by Wendell Mays, based on the novel of the same name by Brian Garfield. Now this film is definitely a Charles Bronson star, but it is different than any other Charles Bronson movie due to the fact that he is playing a normal guy in Paul Kersey. Um, this guy is not the normal badass that you would already see Charles Bronson play in his films. He is a family man, a businessman, and he is not the kind of guy that you're expecting that, that you mess with him, you're going to get your ass kicked. He's not like that. He is devoted to his family, his loving wife, played by Hope Lang, Joanna, and his daughter, who he adores and is married to one of his business associates, um, Stephen Keats, Jack Toby, and when his quiet, normal life is completely shattered by Jeff Goldblum, Christopher Logan, and Gregory Rosakis' gang of freaks. His wife, Joanna, is killed, and his daughter is brutally raped. And much like uh, Savage Streets, um, the rape scene in this film is very brutal. You would think that after this happens and Charles Bronson's Paul Kersey broken and trying to just resume his business um, goes and visits with Amos Jane Chill, played by Stuart Margolin, that it was going to lead to him um, getting this gun and going and hunting down Jeff Goldblum and his little asshole uh, freak buddies and kill them one by one. But he doesn't. No, what he does is he starts hanging around in areas where muggings and thievery has been going on, and then he begins to kill these people. And it's just, it is just really strange because, I mean, he, these people are nowhere near as bad as the gang of freaks that killed his wife and raped his daughter. They're just thieves trying to rob people. I mean, yeah, they're doing bad things, but I mean, they are nowhere near the evil of what has sent him down this path. And he is not going after these kind of people. He's going after these common little muggers and, you know, Thebes. Um, so those points in this film are, are kind of, um, it, it, uh, and, and even when he does kill one of them, you know, um, the first person he kills, uh, Paul goes home and throws up because he, he has never done that before. 
But you would think this would be leading up to him, you know, getting his revenge on the freaks. But it never happens. Instead, you have amazing performance, by the way, by uh, Vincent Gardenia's inspector, Frank Akoa. And he is in this little cat and mouse trying to figure out who is this vigilante that is killing these muggers and thieves in, in the city. And yes, it's, 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 a, it's an interesting story. You know, you have the, you know, cop trying to pursue um, the vigilante in this story. Um, Stephen Keats plays uh, Jack Toby, like I said, and um, he is quite annoying. I did not um, like his character in this. I mean, he he's trying to be the... Um, because he knows that Paul is going off the rails and he is, you know, calling him and telling him stuff and everything. And, and it's just the way he is, the, the whininess and the, uh, you know, the way he performs him, he's just not very likable to me. Um, best performances in the movie, of course, are, um, Charles Bronson as Paul Kersey. Um, Hope Lang, while she's in it, as his wife, Joanna. And, of course, uh, Vincent Gardenia as Inspector Frank Akoya. Um, um, and, and a standout smaller role by uh, Stuart Margolin. But the film lets you down in the end by not... I mean, this is a revenge film, first and foremost, and he never does get his revenge. It is a revenge film that does not give you the final pleasing you with, yes, he got his justice. And that has always brought this film down for me, unfortunately. Um, I still love Death Wish as a film. It's, it's, and it's a great classic um, but as far as my rating for this film goes, um, I would give, uh, Death Wish from 1974. I'd give this film a 8.3 out of 10. Um, I would have rated it probably higher because of, you know, if... He had gotten Jeff Goldblum and his gang of freaks, gotten his revenge on them. But he never does. So, um, yeah, it's it's a bit of a downer in a, in a way because he never gets his revenge. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do you agree with my rating on this film? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, do not forget to smash that like, share, and subscribe button. And, uh, and remember, don't forget to uh, click that bell icon so that you can be notified of any new content that we have coming out. Alright, well, tomorrow is video game night, and I hope you will join me then. If not... Hope to see you next time. Anyway, thanks for watching.